Okay guys, so welcome back to a brand new video and something a little bit different here today. So, it is the Russian Grand Prix this weekend and recently on the F1 2019 game there was an update which added the official 2019 F2 season. You can already tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video. We're going to do a bit of a race here today as Mick Schumacher, the son of seven-time world champion Michael Schumacher, the most successful driver in the history of the sport. And we're going to race as Mick in the Prima car around the Russian Grand Prix and do a little last to first or last to question mark challenge. So let's scroll over to the Grand Prix tab and let's jump into the new and improved menu here with the 2019 F2 because you can see every single car is in the game as expected. But we're going to jump into the Prima and we're going to race as this man right here, Mick Schumacher. And we're going to have a little bit of fun and we're going to do a race around Sochi. Not my most favorite track. I'm probably going to do it in copy view as well. I quite like copy view in the F2 cars. It feels a lot more... It, it just feels right. I can't quite explain it. So I'm going to challenge myself by using cockpit view in this one. But uh, yeah, we're going to jump into things here. And first, we're going to adjust the settings. So we're going to go over to Sochi as the track of choice. And we're going to do a couple of settings as we uh, do this. So what we'll do is we will go for... I'm going to do a short practice session just to try and get a feel for the track. So we'll do a 30-minute practice session. Then qualifying, we'll do... We'll do a one shot and I'll just go really slow so I can start from the back of the grid. Formation lap off and we'll do a feature race 25% and sprint race off. And we're going to do 100 and... Uh, I'm going to do 108 because I'm not a, a massive expert when it comes to F2 cars. But uh, let's quickly adjust the settings here as well. So flashbacks on, apart from eight on, simulation damage, walls and flags on, strict corner cutting, race starts manual and also tire temperature on carcass and surface. And then in terms of assists on elite and then weather time of day, we're going to go for... We'll go for clear, like the official session here today that we saw in the races. And uh, yeah, that's all the settings. We're now going to jump into the racing here for this F2 2019 race as Mick Schumacher. And here in Russia, today's race is about to start. We're at the Sochi Autodrom and the drivers on the grid are almost ready to begin. Join us as we enjoy today's Formula 2 event. The Sochi Autodrom is a 3.6 mile circuit encompassing venues built for Russia's 2014 Olympics. Close barriers will make overtaking difficult in places, but much of the track can be taken flat out. The fans definitely won't be left wanting when it comes to the spectacle of sheer speed. Alongside me today, I'm delighted to welcome back to the commentary box the 2012 GP2 champion Davide Valsecchi. There looks to be a challenging race ahead of the drivers today, Davide. With that in mind, what are you looking out for today? Well, Alex, I want to see how the drivers at the back of the grid are going to roll down. They'll need to make an impact in the early stages, and they're probably hoping for a bit of luck at the start. We may see some bold maneuvers out there today. With that then, let's run through the grid order. Nick de Vries starts from pole position, with Sergio Sete Camera alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Latifi, Giotto, Antoine Hubert, and Aitken, Delatrat, King, Joe, Sean Galea, Machushita, Boccalacci, Nikita Mazepin, and Boshon Correa, Eilat, Alesi, and Tatiana Kolder. Rag Hunnathan and Mick Schumacher rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Okay, so here we are then on the grid, starting from 20th place on the grid and last in this race, a 25% race around Sochi as Mick Schumacher. I've also adjusted the difficulty for the race. I did practice and straight away I realized I was a long way off the pace and, uh, you know, that they're, they're very good at AI with these cars and also I'm not particularly great with these either. So I had to go all the way down to 105 for this and uh, more or less I found the right balance. I tried to do qualifying in 106 just to see what the pace was and I was about eight tenths off. So I know that 105 should be about the right difficulty for me. So yeah, overall we're going to have a little bit of fun here today, something different. I've got no idea where I'm going to finish, but we're just going to start the race, jump into it, be aggressive and have a little bit of fun. So let's jump into this and let us see how we get on in this race as Mick Schumacher. Right, here we go then. We're going to get ready for the five red lights here as uh, we're going to get in the way for the Russian Grand Prix. Lights out and away we go. I'm not quite sure how to start with these cars so I tried to get off the gas and kill the revs. Didn't quite work and we've lost out on a lot of ground as we go down towards turn one. No rich mix in it available in these cars so it's purely down to just driver skill and pace so let's see how we get on here. 
I've gone for the super soft tyres. I want to be aggressive and uh, try and make some moves happen. As we get pushed off the track there by uh, Kalamalo, we've managed to get past Raganathan at least, which is good. Flat out through turn three. I'm going to have to get off the gas a little bit. We're going to try and slip down the inside of a few cars here into turn four. We've got Boshun here on the left hand side. We're going to just get in front of him. Up to 16th place, Boccalacci in front of us. He's on the medium tyre, so let's try and progress and get past him if possible in the car in front of us. And hopefully we can make some progress here as we go in towards sector two. We're going to get a good one here on the Campos car as we go to the outside. Boccalacci early on the brakes. We're going to run a little bit wide there, picking up some understeer. And that's going to allow Boschung to get back through. We're going to cover the inside. Very nice for a change running cockpit view and also having mirrors I can actually look at it makes a change because you can't see the mirrors in the real F1 cars unless you assign a button to look to the side. So this is much, much better for us as uh, we come towards the end of lap one of seven in this 25% race. But let's try and get ahead of Boccalacci if we can and uh, try and get past these medium tire runners. Good exit there. We're going to get very close to him. I'm going to try and set up a little bit of a switchback through the right hand here. I turned a little bit too early, which kind of ruined my exit. But we're still, we're putting the pressure on. And uh, the Prima car's feeling pretty good as we get very close into the penultimate corner. We're gonna go down the inside on the brakes. Late move, almost taking the ball out with me, but we do get past Boccalacci. Nikita Mazepin up next, but uh, looks like Boccalacci might not be done with me just yet. He's got the slipstream behind us. I'm gonna try not to look behind and just use the mirrors as you would normally. Boccalacci down the inside, he's going to try, I'm going to go very late on the brakes. He's going to have another look though as we go through turn three, I'm going to be okay through here though. I've normally got good pace through this corner, so we should be able to just string away a little bit. There we go. Let's see if we can try and set into this race a little bit and uh, catch up to Mazepin. Making fantastic progress on this lap. Already caught up and put myself on the back of Mazepin here. No DRS until next lap, so we're going to have to use Sue's slipstream for now to make things happen. But Mazepin has a nice tow from the Arden car in front. I believe it's Tatiana Calderon. Shoes lock up all the way into that corner there, but we still get it slowed down. Let's see if we can try and get ahead of the ART machine here. Again, through this kind of very slow section, if we can just get the switch back and get the exit. That's very tidy from us. Almost hitting the wall there, but we can't quite get the acceleration. As we go into the penultimate corner, getting very close again, but I'm a little bit wider this time, so I can't quite get my car on the inside line. We are going to set up a switch back though. As DRS is now enabled. Let's see what our straight line speed is like in the Prima. I feel like we're lacking a little bit of top end speed and running a little bit too much aero. Will Mazepin go for it? No, he won't. But uh, we have uh, contact in front as we lose our DRS. That's fantastic. First race with the F2019 cars and we've lost DRS. As we go through turn three, we've got the momentum here. We're gaining on Mazepin. We're going to go a long way around. Coward one on the outside. We're going to just make it though. It's so much more scary in cockpit views. You don't know where the cars are, but we make the move. And we're up to P14. Let's try and get past Coward one. Not having DRS is already affecting me here. Not exactly ideal. As uh, they're going side by side in front of us here. I think that's Jordan King and my teammate Sean Galile. Let's try and get stuck in. Looks like Jordan King's running the medium tire. So again, different strategies there. A little bit of oversteer. Let's try and get on the back of the powder on. Ooh, big bit of oversteer there. We do set a personal best though. But again, no DRS. That's going to affect us. Will Mazepin have a look? Looks like he's not really gaining that much to be fair. Which is good news. A bit of a double front lock up there. Got to be careful of those. These cars are a real handful and I absolutely love it. This is my best corner. Turn three. I just carry so much more speed through here. And I get so much more tighter. We close the gap right up to Calderon. Let's try and see if we get around the back straight. Really close to Calderon here, almost pushing her through. Slight bit of contact, that ruins my exit. 
and we still don't have the RS and I think Mazepin this time might be close enough to have a look at us here. I'm trying to use the slipstream from Calderon to stay in front as Mazepin gets close. But this is frustrating as I can't make any progress up without the RS unfortunately. Which is very annoying. Walling there for exceeding track limits. As we set another personal best. Got the slipstream on Calderon again here. Still no DRS. Very disappointing. Looks like we're going to run out of laps before our DRS comes back online. I keep messing up that corner. Still no DRS. But Calderon doesn't have DRS, I just realised. So there we go. There might be an opening. We might have a chance now. Big handful of an oversteer there. An opposite lock. Let's see if we can get Tatiana on the pitch straight. Really pushing the limit now of what the car can do. Cars are starting to fade as well. They're not getting any younger. Another personal best. Here we go. This is the closest we've been to Calderon. And she doesn't have DRS. Mine is still not back online. So we're going to have to do it with the old slipstream, the old fashioned way. We're gaining a little bit. Is it going to be enough? Not quite. Caldron does go defensive though. And that will put her on the back foot slightly. As we go through turn three, we know what our pace is like through here. We're going to try the long way around. Caldron on the outside. We're going to go down the inside here. Yellow flag. We are going to make the move though. And we finally get past. Oh, someone's blown up in front of us. Look at that, it's Matsushita. As we cut the corner there, I was getting distracted by Matsushita's car and he's out of the race. So up to P12 with one and a half laps to go. Can we get anything else out of this race? Can we cash Jordan King on the medium tire in front of us? Let's see. Last lap of the race. I don't think we're going to catch King, so it could be P12 for us in this race, unfortunately. No points, it seems. Cardon has the RS, but she's nowhere near close enough to challenge. Here we go then, through the final sector now. And the final few corners. I've enjoyed it. It's something very different and it's, uh, it's fresh to race in F2 compared to I can't see doing F1 cars and I am definitely want to try and do maybe more videos like this so give me some video ideas you know to do with these cars maybe in the comments down below I might try and do maybe a separate crew mode or something with this one but overall an enjoyable race here at Sochi. We don't quite score points but from last to P12 in a spec series that's a pretty good result and I'll take that. Overall a decent all race. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in part for me. So as they climb out of the car, the ART team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly deserved win. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? Although the Formula 2 car are all the same spec, the winner just looked better out there. It would have been a combination of getting those tires up to running temperature faster and driving to the condition on track. They made it look easy out there today. An amazing race today and a very well deserved one too. The team worked very hard to get exactly the right setup out of the F2 car. It works for them and the results speak for themselves. ARTGP winners today. Right, so here we have the final results here for the F2 feature race at Sochi. Nick DeVries picks up the win in the ART Grand Prix car and uh, replicating what he did in real life by winning the race and in this case winning the championship in real life. Latifi second, Luca Giotto rounding up the podium and then Seth Camaro P4 ahead of Antoine Hubert. Then we've got Zhu in P6 ahead of Aitken, Delatraz, Galil and Correa scoring the final point there. Jordan King and then also Mick Schumacher ourselves missing out on points along with Calderon, Mazepin.
Kane, Boshong, uh, Bokolachi, Eilot, Alesi, Raganathan and Matsushita who retired from the Grand Prix. And that is it for your classified runners in this race. But guys, that is it for the race here today with the F2 cars. It's something a little bit different. And my um, first race with these F2 2019 cars since the patch, which added these into the game. And uh, let me in the comments down below, guys. Have you guys tried these? What are your thoughts on these? Do you enjoy them? And also, give me some comments in terms of, you know, series ideas and things to do with these cars, guys, going forward, because they are quite fun. I actually really, really enjoy them. And they're a breath of fresh air and a bit of a, you know, a bit, uh, it's a bit of a nice thing to do on the side to so just regular F1 content. But guys, that is going to be it for this video. And hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, drop a like on the video and also get some Subscribe if you are new for daily Formula 1 content and turn on notifications to not miss any videos from me and finally check out these two videos on your screen if you have missed them. But other than that guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one very soon. But until then, let's goodbye from me.